What's up guys, today I'm back with another video and today I have a part 2 of how to use some commands in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I do have a part 1 on this, I will link it on the screen right now and in the description below. Um, it did really well so I decided I want to do a part 2 explaining some more commands of Pocket Edition. Uh, I won't be explaining all of them though, I'll only be talking about some of the most commonly used ones and uh, some of the most useful ones. So let's just get started. Um, in the last video, I said that you could start and stop rain with toggle downfall, which is true. Uh, but that's not the only way you could stop rain. You can also do slash weather clear. And then if you just wait a while, the rain will actually stop. So that's the first one. I'm pretty sure a lot of us would find that's helpful because rain is definitely not as good as your clear skies. Um, another thing, actually, someone asked me how to do this in the part one video. I responded to his comment, but I also want to talk about it here because someone else might have the same question. Um, basically, if you want to find the coordinates of where you are, you would do slash spawn point. And because Minecraft is a 3D world, uh, it would have an X, Y, and Z coordinate. And that's what spawn point does. It gives you the X, the Y, and the Z coordinate of where you are. Um, the next thing is we actually have is slash list. This one actually tells you how many players are on your server and who is on your server. So as you can see here, I actually used this command before, um, but it says there are one out of five players online and it lists the player, Raging Void MCP, which is obviously me. So that's really helpful if you know, uh, know what is in sight and you want to know who is uh, still in your server because obviously you don't see them anymore. Uh, the next thing we have here is summon. Summon basically is self-explanatory. It will spawn an entity. The most commonly used one is the ender dragon. And how you do that is summon space dragon. And then three squiggles. I don't know the formal name for this symbol, but uh, I'm pretty sure everyone understands squiggle. And if you do that, uh, you will spawn an ender dragon. So that's that. Uh, I just want to show you guys how to do that. So I'm going to uh, get him out of the way now. Oh, not that. Um that. Alright, he's out of the way. Oh, wait. Is he still here? What? Wait, is he not a hostile mob? Apparently, he's not hostile. Okay, then. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, um, but the next thing I wanted to do is, actually, I would actually need to go to survival to do this, so let's just go here. Oh, god, the game became so much slower ever since I spawned the ender dragon. Alright, so here we are in survival. And the command I want to show you here is, oh my god, that's not good. Shoot. Alright, I'm going to have to show you this in creative then. The game is so slow. Alright, but what I wanted to do before the ender dragon interrupted me is that you can actually give XP to yourself. So how you do this is you do slash XP. Um, a certain amount, so that could be any number, I'll just do a bunch of nines, and then you want to say the player, so obviously their name, so my name is RVMCPE, and if I do that, it will say, given this much experience to me. Uh, obviously you can't see it right now because I'm in creative, but if I were to jump to survival, I'm pretty sure the ender dragon would kill me again, so I don't know if that would work out really well, but that's really that, um, where is he right now, okay, oh, okay then. That, that's not good. Alright. But you know what? Uh, that was actually the last command I wanted to show you guys. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could jump to survival without there being much risk left. So, I'm just going to switch now. And hopefully nothing bad happens. So, as you can see, I have, I am level 1,508. And that is what happens when you give that many nines to myself in XP form. So that is that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new about commands. Um, the last thing I actually want to say was the clone command. I'm actually not going to be showing this here because it's actually um, a reasonably hard to use command. I'm actually going to link that in the description below. Um, but basically a clone command allows you to clone a certain area of blocks, a building, or any structure. Which is really cool so you guys should check that out. Uh, but once again, the reason I'm not putting on here is because it's kind of complex, so I would leave that to its own video. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.